I'm Tiffany. Welcome to Towering TBR. If you're new, I am chronically ill and disabled. I read a wide variety of books, and every month I play a TBR game to help me choose what I'm going to read. I've been playing Marbles since last month. I will link it if you haven't already seen it. Marbles is essentially like a highly customizable TBR jar. Um, I race the marbles, but I don't really have any choice over who wins. The top three finishers will be going on my TBR. I'm not only reading these three books, but I will be adding Buddy Reads and Readathon choices as well as the three that I get in my marbles game. I am participating in two readathons in November. The first is Nonfiction November, which is hosted by Olive over at A Book Olive. This is her 10th year doing this readathon, and it is going to be her last. I have been participating for like the last six or seven years, and it's really helped me increase the nonfiction that I read. It's such a fun readathon, and I made sure to add a lot more nonfiction choices to my Marvels game. All right, let's get right to the game. Okay, and they're off. This is a very reminiscent of Plinko. All right, we've got Shards of Honor, we've got Believe. Shards of Honor is a science fiction book, and Believe is a nonfiction. Definitely hoping for some more nonfiction. If you look in the top right corner, you can see all of the placements, one through 10. All right, we've got A Fatal Inheritance in second place. That's a nonfiction. I would be pretty happy with that. And all right, lots more catching up could be anybody's game now. Still have Shards of Honor in the beginning, or in first place. Shards of Honor is still moving strong. Excellent. Oh, I lost that one. Oh, stuck. We're stuck. All right. And wow, what an upset. <laughs> Got Kitchen Confidential, Affinity, and The Indifferent Stars Above. Okay, so the three winners were Kitchen Confidential by Anthony Bourdain. I recently saw Becca over at Read Becca reread this, and she made me want to pick it up. And so I'm so glad that that was one of my first choices. I also got Affinity by Sarah Waters. This is the last Sarah Waters book for me to read, and it's a little bittersweet because... I love Sarah Waters, and I wish I had more of her stuff to read. This is, I think, set in a Victorian jail. I don't know a whole lot of the details, but her writing is always gorgeous, and I'm sure to love it. And the third choice was The Indifferent Stars Above. This is another nonfiction pick all about the Donner Party who had to resort to cannibalism when they were, I think, lost in the wilderness? I don't know. I will let you know after I read it. So those aren't going to be the only three I read. I am buddy reading with Audrey from Audrey Approved. We're going to be buddy reading People Who Eat Darkness by Richard Lloyd Perry. This is a nonfiction book all about a woman who went missing in Japan. He followed the story for years to find out what happened to this girl, and he digs into all of the nitty gritty. I don't read a ton of true crime, but I think that this will be very interesting. I'm also hoping to pick up Vanishing Treasures by Katherine Rendell. This doesn't come out until November 12th, but it is a nonfiction book all about endangered animals. And I read a book by her previously and loved it, so I'm very excited to get that one as well. The other readathon I'm participating in is Bucket Listathon, hosted by Danny over at Danny Dabbles. I will link her and all of the information so you can join in if you'd like. It goes from mid-November to mid-December. I will be putting up a separate TBR because there is a game and cards and all sorts of fun that I would like to participate in. Basically, the goal of her readathon is to like help you really reach your goals before the end of the year. Anything that you really wanted to get done, you prioritize it. And I, I think that sounds great. And hopefully it will help me prioritize what I'd like to read by the end of the year. Okay, so this is a really good TBR. Obviously, when I play the game, I will have more books added to my TBR. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that. What are you reading in the month of November? Are you participating in any readathons? Let's have a chat in the comments down below. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy reading!